In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the internal batteries on this Harbor Freight auto darkening welding helmet. I'm also going to show you how to replace them so that you can easily access them later when they go bad again. It's a very easy job, so without further ado, let's dive right in. So about four years ago, I did another video on replacing the batteries on this darken assembly right here. Well, here we are again. The batteries are dead. Well, last time in the video, I replaced the batteries and re-soldered them onto the board just like they were originally. But now we're here back again and we have to do it again. So I have a better way to do this. Instead of re-soldering the batteries on the board, we're going to make an external mount for the batteries. And that way, the next time the batteries go bad, all we have to do is pop the thing open and replace the batteries. And that's it. It's done. Very simple. So as you can see here, I've already removed this from the helmet. Um, consult the other video for some more detail on how to get this apart, but basically you just kind of take a screwdriver underneath this thing, pry the knob off of there carefully, right? Remove the nut, and then this will come out. And then for the helmet, there's some clips that you just release the clips, and then this whole thing comes out of there. Now, they don't make it easy to get into this thing because they've got the battery soldered in there, they make it hard to get in, so they want you to get in this, or they want you to replace this with a new helmet. But the batteries are seven dollars, so why do we have to do that? Why can't we just replace the batteries? So basically, you just take a knife and be very careful because that knife can slip off and bad things happen. But just kind of take something thin and pry and pry until you get it open. Okay, just like so, and work your way around. This part here is glass, so be careful around here, or you'll crack it and ruin the whole thing. But I've already opened this. And then when you put it back together, you can tape it if you want, but the clips in the helmet will actually hold it together. All right, so here we have our soldered batteries. And these batteries are in series, so it runs on 6 volts, so it makes it very easy just to replace it. If you're finding any value in this video, please subscribe to this channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. All right, so if you don't recognize the symptoms for a dead battery, the helmet will try to darken, but it's like it's not quite darkening and you're getting a, you know, a flash from the welder and you're like, what in the world? That don't sound right. And it just keeps doing that. Well, this did the same thing last time. One battery was dead. As you can see here, we got one here. We got three volts on that one. And then on this one, we got one volt, so this battery is dead, the other one is not, but we're going to replace them both, obviously, and we're going to put them in an external mount. So the first thing I want to do is just desolder these batteries, get them off the board. So just take your soldering iron and be careful of the other components that are around this area and heat this up. Right, so... Just like so. I'm going to do the same thing to the other battery and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got my two batteries removed. Now on this side here with the wire that crosses over the battery right there, there's some hot glue or something in this corner. Just take a little knife or something and pry that and break it loose. That way you can move these wires out of the way and you're not going to burn them all up, right? That way you can get to your terminal right there. Now these two posts right here are in series. Here, let me show you. Or not in series, but they're connected together that makes it in series. See right there? So you're not going to connect any wires right there. You're going to connect your positive here on this side and your negative here on this side and then run the wire externally. That's all it is. It's, it's nothing to it. So what I would do to make this work is kind of eat out a little spot right here on this side for your wire to pass through kind of like they did over here. Just like so, just big enough for the wire to pass through. And I'll put a link below to the battery holder that I'm using. So right here, we'll solder our positive on. And then we'll put our wire back in place right here. Just the way they had this glue is useless. And then on your negative wire, it's obviously too long now. We'll make it shorter. 
and we'll strip it back. We'll tin it with a little bit of solder. There we go. And that's basically it. And then we'll run our wires over to our little notch right there. Now let's just check our voltage and make sure we got our six volts where we want it. And we'll put our batteries in. And we'll check our voltages on the board right here. Red to red, black to black. And we've got 6.6 .6 volts. So very good, very good indeed. And that should take care of it. We'll just put it back together from here. Okay, so I got my battery holder mounted on the side right here. Basically, if you pop the hood on that thing, there's two holes right here that you can drill and then use the, t the tiny little screws that come with it are a joke. Um, if you even sneeze on those screws, the heads will pull through. I wound up taking those screws and throwing them as far as I could send them. And I used some slightly bigger screws because the heads would just pull through if you just look at it wrong. So I didn't like that. But anyway, it's mounted nice and solid right there. We have a fairly short wire right here. We don't need a long wire. And it, it works. I already tested it and it works great. So there you go. There's a solution to replace the batteries on one of these welding helmets. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Thanks for watching.